Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March, and I want to thank you so much for your patience. So we're going to get started. What do we have for Aquarius for the month of March? We're going to start right here. What do we got for Aquarius? You're dealing with some sort of challenge that you got to overcome. It's not going to be easy. But I say that because I see a mountain now. Mountain is a big challenge. So, uh, what the hell is this challenge? It's like you're got you're gonna have to really find your strength to overcome this to get to the top of this mountain. It's like you got it's steep. It's steep. It's like it's really steep because it's like it looks really steep. It's like this is not going to be easy whatever it is you need to have strength because now I see the nine of wands which is stamina you may be growing weary you may have some doubt and some fear or you may be right on the edge of quitting or of turning back going going in a different direction I think that you you know the nine of wands is about wounded but you need to find your determination to uh, get to the other side you know whatever this means to you it's like you've got to keep going do not look back you have come so far don't keep looking back why do you keep looking back I mean Jesus crow would you you've come so far I don't understand power strength this is the strength card uh, we got man and a beast here maybe you got to take out that beast maybe you you got to find that inner beast within you this is finding the strength to overcome, okay? This is letting go of fear. Maybe you need to find the strength to let go of something or the strength to keep going. This is a month of confidence, strength, uh, courage, um, fearlessness, okay? Have no fear, all right? So this is a very powerful card too. So you may be in a very powerful position. It says power, but... So, yeah, I think you must be in a powerful position this month. Um, needing to restrain yourself as well. I think you've gained some sort of wisdom through a situation. There's wisdom here. Um, mastering of emotions with that strength card you're gonna have to master your emotions in some way find your strength to be calm because something could happen that you know you need to calm yourself down you may have to restrain yourself interesting what do we have for Aquarius I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn because I wanted to say Capricorn I don't know why could be dealing with a Leo could be dealing with anybody but hmm slow down slow down when you are excited you get ahead of yourself take some time to allow things to unfold so there is something that you need to slow down you need to slow down you may be very excited now this is now the strength card is a very excitable card okay you may be looking really good you may be feeling very, really good or you are very excited about somebody you know and so you need to just slow down a little bit what do we have for Aquarius for the month of March what do we have for Aquarius what do we have for Aquarius? Are you dealing with the Queen of Pentacles? Because I just saw the Queen of Pentacles, which is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, I don't know if that is you taking on that energy or if you're dealing with that person. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that is, is a hard worker, somebody that is motherly, nurturing, generous, capable, valuable, knows their value. And maybe that's you or it could be the person that you're dealing with. Now, the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is somebody that is a homemaker somebody that has a golden opportunity of some sort very hard worker um, hmm, a hard worker here two of swords reversed something is going to be exposed 
Okay, somebody has been hiding something. They've been blocking some sort of truth. They've been lying. They've been holding it in. Not telling the truth. Blocking the truth. Blocking their emotions. Avoiding the truth. But it's about to come out by the looks of things. There could be some sort of information overload or emotional turmoil. Um, hmm. Putting in effort to open up. Somebody needs to put in effort. Something about work. Work. And the, and the Queen of Pentacles is a hard worker. But now this is working. Putting in effort to unblock. To open up. Oh my God. The Knight of Wands reversed is reckless behavior. Somebody that's moving too fast. We got somebody here that is moving way too fast. They're not thinking. They're not thinking at all. You could, I don't know if you're dealing with a loud troublemaker or somebody that is forceful. You could be dealing with somebody who has a bad reputation. You, you know, um, I don't know. You, are you, maybe you're working with somebody who has a bad reputation. This person doesn't care, okay? This person is has a chip on their shoulder. Doesn't really want a commitment. Doesn't really want responsibility. Um, maybe very sexual could be a sexual energy, you know, maybe and that's may could be where their bad reputation comes from Now the seven of cups reversed is seeing a situation clearly becoming clear. This could be a sudden departure Exposure, you know, so this is exposure of lies seeing the truth You know, you may be working with somebody or dealing with somebody that is very I don't know has a bad reputation and they maybe they've slept around I don't know if that's the case but whatever uh, it could be um, but this person could be self-righteous and maybe you're starting to see because this is eye opening it's like somebody's eyes are opening to whoever they're dealing with um, nine of wands reversed okay so you definitely got somebody who that has a chip on their shoulder this person thinks their shit don't stink I don't know who you're dealing with um, this, somebody is just wanting their own way. Um, they'll do anything to get their own way. Uh, and this is your challenge right here. Remember I saw the challenge? The Nine of Wands reverse is a big, huge challenge. I think there's going to be a rejection here. There's been some sort of lie. Somebody's been lying. Somebody has not been telling the truth. They have not. And there's been an abuse of power. There's been a, an abuse of generosity. Somebody could be getting fired as well. Be, be, you know, losing their job, but just being honest. It's like they're not putting in effort. They're not working. Because this isn't working, putting in effort. But this is somebody who doesn't want responsibility. This is somebody who doesn't really have any any strength or perseverance. Can't really meet any deadlines, whatever. Can't... So I'm not sure what is going on here. There's some sort of inequality with the Six of Pentacles reverse and the and the Justice reverse. This is a, this is you may be dealing with an injustice. There's unfair treatment. There's lack of equal give and take. Somebody's not telling the truth. There's there's lies. There's something like that with with both of these cards right here together. There's a disharmony. There's a um, I don't know. It's like there's some sort of domination here. Prejudice. Lack of accountability. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. There's somebody here that isn't giving. They're not doing their fair share. Somebody's not doing their fair share. And it's like, it's one-sided. There's a one-sided situation here. So I think, you know, you need to stop and think perhaps about whoever it is that you're dealing with or uh, there could be a sudden departure. I'm wondering if somebody's going to get fired. You know, I don't know if it's somebody that you're dealing with or in fired can be, it doesn't have to be job related. It could be relationship related. Okay. Um, four of cups, discontent, not, or somebody is missing an opportunity. They're missing an, this is the ace of cups. This is missing an opportunity, not seeing it. We have somebody here that is focusing on a third party situation. Maybe they're focusing on somebody that cheated on them or focus on somebody that cheats or focus on somebody that is emotional, emotional, somebody that, 
you know, they used to have a relationship with and they have, or they do have a relationship. I don't know. There's another offer of love here that is being missed. The high priest unaware. We have somebody here that just isn't aware. They're not aware. They're not awakened. You could be dealing with somebody. I mean, this, the high priestess in reverse is a feminine who lacks female friends, who is selfish, who, um, likes to be alone, doesn't listen to any advice, um, not spiritual, um, chooses to be single or doesn't really want to commit somebody that is very shallow, doesn't have a lot of friends. Um, but this is seeing a situation clearly. This person may be very seductive, may be very seductive. And this could be you or, the, or whoever, this is like a seductress, the high priestess upright or reversed. Yes, this person is a seductress. She, but she, she doesn't have anything really to offer. She doesn't. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know who you are dealing with. Um, especially if you are the male watching this, you are probably missing an opportunity with somebody that, uh, could take care of you or something. But if you are the feminine watching this, there's a lack of self-worth. There's a lack of, of respect or something like that. The Empress reverse is a woman that is needy. We, we and very sexual. So we have a, we have a very sexual woman here that doesn't care who she hurts. She really doesn't. She doesn't. She's selfish. She's needy. She needs a lot of attention. She's high maintenance. She doesn't know her value. She doesn't know her worth. She probably sleeps around. Okay. Very seductive energy here. So I think that we have, we, ha we have this, um, truth, or, uh, or, you know, it's like the eyes opening. It's like, I see, it's like, I see who I'm dealing with here. So somebody is going to be seen for who they really are this month. We do, I mean, this is somebody who doesn't take very good care of themselves. They don't take, take very good care of their children. Um, may rely too much on tarot readings or psychic readings or, or, or something like that or mediums or whatever. Somebody may rely too much on that. So they don't, they don't, uh, so they could be missing an opportunity. Yeah. I don't know. There's a missed opportunity for love here. We have an injustice. We do have an injustice. There's bad karma as well with the justice card reversed. And there's a rejection or a loss. So there's, there's some sort of loss that is coming because somebody's not really putting in effort. They're not working hard enough. They're not. And it's because they're focused on something that is not emotionally fulfilling anymore. There's no reciprocation. There's no, it's one-sided. It is definitely one-sided. And this person needs constant attention. Okay. So I think we, we have a feminine here that has multiple options. She may have multiple partners. Okay. She may have multiple partners and maybe that's been hidden. I'm not, and if you are the feminine watching this, you know, you, this could be the outsider. This could be the other person. Um, but this is also a person, the Empress reverse is a woman that, and if it, this is you, this is a woman that doesn't know her value. She doesn't know her worth. She doesn't have strength. She doesn't have courage. She doesn't, she, she will stay in a situation because she doesn't want to be alone. Okay. So for some of you, that's for you. Um, there is some sort of, somebody has been cheating. Somebody has been cheating and they're going to get caught. They're going to get caught. The truth is going to come out. And the, and, uh, and cheating and, and cheating doesn't always have to be sex. I mean, there definitely could be some sex here. But I consider cheating, I mean, <laughs> more than just sex, okay? Anyhow, the magician, the magician is taking action to bring success. Somebody that is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. As above, so below. So something is being shown. Somebody is about to get caught. And I think they're going to get caught. I don't know if they're with another woman or this woman has been sleeping around. She's been cheating. Now, this is the power. So we have a lot of power here. So I think that you, Aquarius, are going to have the power. And I think it's the power of choice. 
you are going to have to make a choice. Now, the magician is about power. It's about manifestation. It's a very masculine energy. You are in charge. There is a loss here. Six of Wands reversed. That's a loss. Being disgraced. Somebody is dealing with somebody who is very smug, very, very smug, very, very a know-it-all. Somebody that has a huge chip on their shoulder. This person must think that they are beautiful or, and, and it's okay to think that way. But I feel like we have somebody here that has a huge chip on their shoulder. It's like they think they can do whatever they want. They have a big, big, big ego. I think there's going to be some unwelcome news that is delivered. Somebody's been dealing with a master, and I think it's a master manipulator who has been lying to them, and he, the truth is about to come out. So be prepared for some sort of truth to come out, okay? I'm telling you what, there is some sort of truth that is going to come out. Somebody has not been telling the truth. And I think that there's going to be a rejection. Somebody's going to get rejected and they're going to stop putting in effort with somebody who has been cheating or lying or something like that. It's a false relationship. So I think that this month, there, and there, there could be even some legal issues that pop up with the justice card reversed. This is This isn't fair. It's not fair. This is a... Dealing, there's somebody here that does not want to be held accountable and they lie very, very, this could be a pathological liar. So, I don't know, somebody may be dealing with a pathological liar here. But the truth, something is going to come out and the, whatever this person has been lying about is about to be exposed, okay? The secrets are about to come out. Somebody has been keeping secrets and I, I think it has to do with cheating or stealing or thieving. Somebody may, it could be, it doesn't have to be cheating. It could be stealing. Somebody may have been stealing something and they get caught. You know, they've been, you know, stealing. So something's going to be taken away. So somebody may be robbed, you know, no offense, or you may feel robbed. You may feel, you know, so watch your purse, watch your bank account, watch whoever you're dealing with. Cause I feel like you got somebody here that is robbing you. They're robbing you of, of, something okay they are they're robbing you of something it's a loss i'm sorry it is this person is very selfish whoever this person is i think it is a, is a feminine that is doing the the dirty deeds okay and i hate to say that but i do i mean i hate i mean i don't care i really don't care about that um we have somebody here that is very reckless there is reckless behavior here and this is rushing out of control. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is very loud. Because it feels like we have somebody here that may be loud. They cause trouble with their mouth. Anyway, seeing clearly. Somebody is going to see clearly. They're going to become clear of what the choice that they need to make. It's like they're going to see exactly who they're dealing with because something is going to come out. And it has to do with the feminine who uh, isn't telling the truth. This feminine is going to expose herself in some way. So, Aquarius, I feel like uh, it's really time for you to get your life back on track. And whoever it is that you're dealing with that is lying to you, or you're, somebody's lying here, you need to open your eyes. Whether it's you that's lying or them that is, somebody's lying. And it could be about the, their feelings. I mean, this is feelings. It could be about the, their feelings, okay? Looks to me as though you have a golden opportunity waiting for you. This is a golden opportunity. This is uh, something solid, something long-term, something that you can take to the bank, something you've asked for. This is something you've manifested. It's like they're waiting for you to go down that road because this is the opportunity that you wanted. This is the opportunity you've been waiting for. But you have to go down that path. You have to go down that road. You have to travel. You have to climb that mountain, right? 
it's not going to be easy. But you can't, you know, you have to know your value. You have to know your worth. You can't stay with somebody that cheats or doesn't respect you or doesn't love you or you don't love them. It's like they have this golden opportunity for you. What are you waiting for? It's like you have... Now, this is also a reality check. This is something real. You have an opportunity for something real. It's right there. But you haven't taken it yet. Good luck.